please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. There's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of buzz that is brewing in the Indian motorsports circle because we are all set to welcome the world's first city-based racing league. Now it is being called the Extreme One Racing League and it is being backed by young as well as extremely established Indian racers Aditya Patel and Arman Ibrahim. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. My first question to you is how did the concept of the Extreme One Racing League in India come about? It, well, we both yeah. just kind of, we've been traveling together the last three years three. for our races because it's been on the same weekend. Uh, pretty much stuck with each other on the same flight, same hotel, same, car same rental car. And then after a point, we just ran out of stuff to talk <laughs> about. And so, obviously, most of our discussion was on racing and uh, that slowly led to talking about doing a league in India. And of course, we go to the gym as well together every day. And one morning, we said, you know, let's just sit together. Enough put pen talking, to paper. Yeah. yeah. Enough of talking. And then we just sat together and we put a format together. It turned out to be quite interesting to look at. Yeah. We floated it by a few people. They liked it and then the league was born. Yeah. So we have come across ideas of racing leagues before. There has been the I-1 Super Series, which was pitched uh, a couple of years ago. As well as we've seen uh, racing leagues for uh, motorcycles, but that didn't seem to work out as well. What makes your racing league completely different? What is the USP? We've spoken to people who've, uh, you know, we've spoken to various different series, spoken to people who've run various series, attempted to run series, uh, various different series leagues, whatnot. And realized that our plan was, our plan, our agenda was uh, actually quite different to what, what, what they were trying to achieve. We've come up with something that uh, is very, very India centric, and that that will uh, pertain to the Indian market, and we think it really work here. We basically customized it for the Indian market in terms of formats, etc. Because now all our attention spans are literally nothing, right? We can't sit and watch one event for too long. So on that front, yeah, we made it uh, a shorter format. It's not as long as Formula One. It's quite short. We've got a few races a day, so instead of watching one long race, you watch three short races. Uh, then you have a break in the middle. You have stuff to do all around the circuit. So that's one side of it. And the other side of it is, uh, you know, trying to make it equal, as equal as possible, uh, having women race against men on the same track, uh, on the same day. No separate category, no mixed doubles format, nothing like that. It's pure head-to-head -head racing. Um, and then also in terms of engineering, to give an opportunity to Indian engineers, be it men or women, uh, who've always wanted to be racing engineers. We were hoping that this would, this would be a launchpad, not only for the drivers, but for the technical side as well. Yes, right. so it's a bunch of USPs. So if you can just share with me, what is the business model for this racing league? So basically we've got uh, eight city-based franchises. Okay. Right? We want uh, an IPL style mm. racing league. Uh, and uh, the idea is to bring in more sponsors to the sport, to bring more corporates, more enthusiasts, more individuals. We feel that we're very competitively priced in terms of the cost of the team. And uh, because when we look at all the other leagues and we look at what they charge for, you know, for like a volleyball league or a table tennis league in terms of the franchise, mm -hmm. we're pretty competitively priced. And then in return for that money, the teams get a whole lot more in terms of uh, returns uh, with our revenue every year. Okay. Um, the teams are free to bring in sponsors of their own mm -hmm. so that they can, you know, recover for their costs, if any. So what can you tell me about the meteor chunk of this racing league, which is of course the race car. Are you going the custom engine or the custom chassis way? Can you tell me anything about that? Well, we're working on it right we're now. We're looking at options. We have options. Okay. But it's going to be again like a prototype, prototype okay. which will have like an LP2 car, two seats. Um, but we have, we're working on a couple of options and in the, very, in the, in the near future, we'll be able to uh, tell you which which one we've decided upon, uh, which the manufacturer of the chassis, the manufacturer of the engine and everything. Basically. First year we want everything to be equal okay. and we're looking at a car that will produce about 250 to 280 bhp. So what is the race format that you're looking at for the race weekends uh, that are going to take place? It would be a two-day weekend ideally, I mean in terms of the racing and uh, so Saturday you'd, in the morning you'd start with your practice, one session of practice and a qualifying mm -hmm. but both days would have three races so each weekend would have six races mm -hmm. and each race would be a different format we're still we're still customizing we've come up with a basic plan but we're still come customizing that and you know in the future we will let you know the the, the exact agenda of the three races the second thing um, is 
we're, we're definitely going to have street races. Street races always make things exciting because it's all close and compact. And, and secondly, it attracts a lot of people because you're taking it to the people. They're not expecting people to come all the way uh, to watch your race. So how many teams are we going to see in this racing league and how many drivers? What is the make of the drivers? Can you tell me more? We're looking at eight teams which have 16 cars, 32 drivers, mm -hmm. which means it's four drivers per team, uh, two drivers per car. So there will be a pit stop where they swap drivers. Uh, the four drivers will consist of uh, an international male and international female, uh, Indian driver racing abroad, and an Indian domestic ra uh, Indian driver racing the domestic championship, basically. And a fifth driver will be a development driver, a young driver coming up who will be uh, the development driver. Okay. So they they will be competing in the league, but the, in post the league, uh, for the rest of the year, we will have a, a six to twelve round series, basically, with which is called for the. Uh, which where, where the patrons take part, you know, either the franchisee or he can nominate someone to drive with uh, like the Indian domestic driver and they can score bonus points in certain ways for their overall uh, league table. So that, that has a lot of engagement with you know, the, um, you know, the franchisee or the people involved as well because you know, once they get engaged, mm -hmm. they're not just their team owners but they get to drive and they get to associate with their brand themselves. So just like we've seen in the IPL series, will there be a bidding for the race drivers as well? How do you plan to go about it? It's going to work, draft. yeah, in a draft yeah. system. A little different from IPL, but I think this way, the first year at least, would, yeah. it's, uh, it's a lot more, it, it creates a lot more equality. I mean, it gives everyone a fair, everyone a fair opportunity. And it also helps them strategize without really, um, you know, this way at least the budget's all set in their, in their, in their, in their, it's centralized in their fee. Mm -hmm. So they're not, they're just uh, strategizing in terms of what would suit their team best in terms of performance rather than, uh, trying to throw in more and more uh, money. So, have you come up with a concrete plan to televise this event? Are you going to be approaching broadcasters? Yeah, yeah with the broadcaster, definitely. I mean, um, again, since our press release, since we've announced it, we've, we, we've had a lot of traction, we've had some discussions and that is going on. Mm -hmm. um, so, but not, apart from a broadcaster, that would reach the mass audience and, and everyone. We also definitely look at the future the OTT. And we and we definitely want to go through that platform that platform as well. Mm -hmm. Through these two, through, the, through both of them, I think we reach all all sectors. You know. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today, and all the very best for the upcoming racing league. Thanks a lot. The X1 Racing League seems to be a very interesting proposition which will take place in the first quarter of 2019. We are yet to know which cities are going to be uh, hosting the street races. It could be either Pune, Bengaluru, Mumbai, Chandigarh or even Hyderabad. That we are still waiting on. With that, it's a wrap on this week's episode of Overdrive. But remember, you can stay in touch with the team through Facebook, through Twitter and you can follow our latest videos on our YouTube channel. We'll see you next week. Until then, goodbye and many thanks for watching.